Josh just came from a culture and a family where he was brought up to believe that you treat people well. Josh! Woo! It was all about just having fun, getting out there, playing as a team. I think Australians are taught to play tough together. He's got the courage of a lion. I hope that I can give these kids inspiration and be a role model for them to aspire to, to be like and, and be better than. My name's Josh, and I'm just about to bounce his shot in, right? Oh, you know what? He was always... Josh was full on it as a kid. Like, he was... He couldn't sit still. He, he, he loved wrestling. Like, he loved watching the wrestling on TV, and he always had a ball in his hand, so he wanted to wrestle with the girls, but, you know, so he'd make one cry, then he'd go to the next one, make them cry, because, like, you know, he wanted to wrestle. Oh, that's for you, cameraman, <laughs> You know, my mum was... My mum was huge and just making sure I was at every game, at every practice. She was waking up early to make sure everything was, you know, ready for me and my sisters. So both my parents had to look after four kids. You know, it was hard to divide all that time. You know, my sisters did sports and, and had school and had different activities on. It was crazy times, like, on, especially on a Friday night when they would play all their basketball. Yeah, we would have one playing at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and that, they could be all around Melbourne. My dad got all the credit because he was my coach, but I think Mum played just as big as a role. She played in the WNBL with the Tigers as well. She played for Australia, Victoria, so she's done her rounds as a player, you know, both at the national level and professionally. But I think her role in my basketball career was, was more off the floor. He played cricket, he played tennis. He tried everything and anything. Like he just always had a ball in his hand. Oh, what was that? When I was a kid, I used to, I think I used to prefer playing footy games to basketball games. You know, we play basketball on a Friday night, footy on a Sunday. And for some reason, I don't know what it was. I just, I just enjoyed playing footy more. And, and at the time, like not many people know, I was probably better at footy than I was at basketball. So it wasn't an easy decision to just say, all right, footy's done, I'm gonna go play basketball. I, I was seriously contemplating not going and staying and playing footy. But once I got that offer to go up to the NBA Academy, um, that's when I'm like, you know, I, I can't turn this down. But at the same time, I know that I've got to give away footy and uh, put all my you know, eggs in one basket essentially and you know, give basketball a real go. And as I said, I'm glad I did it. Um, but at the time, it wasn't an easy decision. Being around such you know, royalty in Australia with Andrew and then my dad was uh, very well known around basketball in, in this country. And you know, it could have been easy for coaches to be like, you know, it, it was his son, he, he knows he's close with Drew, let's, let's put him in the team. But they never did. And, and I'm grateful now that that happened, but it took me four years to make my first state team. And that's just state, that's just Victoria. That's not even the country. And like, uh, that was the hardest part for me. Cause as a junior basketball in this state, making a state team is like the pinnacle. That's like the, the best achievement you can get. If you're a state team player, you're like, you know, you're the man walking around basketball courts on a Friday night. And I never made it. It took me four years to make my first one. Bounce, cross between, there you go. You know, that's a story I tell these young kids because, you know, they get, they get sad and, and down about missing out on teams. And I tell them, I said, I've been in your shoes. I know how it feels. I think getting cut from teams can hurt a player's confidence or it can, it can you know, make you want to you know, toughen up and, and, and you know, fight through adversity. And yeah, I had that confidence in myself always. You know, when I went to the NBA Academy, I slowly became one of the better players there. I was able to lead them um, in a few different tournaments. And from that point on, I took that confidence going forward. So it was all about just having fun, yeah, playing as a team. They certainly drilled the team first ethos into Josh and being a good teammate. And I think that's been one of the things that's made him, you know, such a unique player. Kim and Warwick are both wonderful people. They're both extremely personable. Both of them had very incredible professional careers, including Kim in the WNBL. So Josh just came from a culture and a family where he was brought up to believe that you treat people well. And that's one of his secret weapons, which I think you're, you're now seeing in the NBA is just this courtesy and charm that he has and his ability to keep things in perspective. Giddy, oh, he finds an open well, how about the assist right here, folks? And Josh Giddy threading the needle. Oh, Giddy comes up with a big defensive play. Nice pass. Giddy set it up perfectly. Yeah, just a surgical pass. 